Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Raz Leaf by, On uh, by Ina <laughs> Sona Moser, and it's just kind of a fun spring, or if you're in fall, it's a great little leaf pattern that you can do, and I am going to do it on a round tile. Zaz, not Raz, Zaz, Z-A-Z, -Z, Zaz leaf. And um, I'm just going to do it on a round tile. So I'm just going to make my leaves kind of come out from the center. So we're going to do some stems that just kind of come out from the center. So I just have some little stems and they kind of square off and you can put as many as you want looks like I got six on there and then our next step is to produce our leaf and we're going to do a leaf shape but we're going to do it in little tiny like a, uh, a dotted line, not a dotted line, a, yeah, kind of a dotted line shape. So it just has, and we can go under, and you can make these shapes about anything you want. They, you don't want too much space in between, but you can adjust that. So I would think of it as the dotted line down the center of the road. And I'm making mine more of an aspen leaf shape. But they can be any shape leaf you want. And you probably want your dots to be a little bit they can be a little bit longer. I was getting mine kind of short. They can be a little bit longer and a little tiny space in between. But we can correct it. So now that we have all our dotted lines, we're going to come in and we're going to do a kind of adjust and I'm going to come in so you can see choose kind of a pointy little that connects the line and then comes down so it comes up from the line and then comes in And I kind of make mine various depths. Some of them I want to be really deep and then some very shallow. Kind of gives this leaf a little jagged edge. My mom used to have this indoor plant, and I really don't know what it was called. When I was growing up, it was a kind of a fern plant, and the leaves would come out, and then as they got older, they would split like this. Sometimes they would split in the center, but it was kind of fun because they would, they would just split. They came out plain, and then they split. These I kind of got really close together. Your 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 lines can be further apart. So I'm gonna kind of connect that one. So and I'm gonna connect that one. Because I kind of got them close together. So if they're too close together, you can just connect the lines. And then your leaf has a little bit 
broader split in it. So I just connected those. Because there's no mistake in Zentangle, only opportunities. So if the leaf has too many, you can see I'm really changing this one. And you can really get some fun looking Z A Z leaf. Let's see the there's no mistake, even though that kind of looked like I made a mistake there, we're, we're not going to call it a mistake. And you can see I'm filling in some of those spaces because I did get them a little close together for my taste. And we're almost to our last one. And there we have our Saz leaf. And we, you can color in your stem with black or you can leave it. I'm going to leave mine and I'm going to take my charcoal pencil and I'm just going to color on the outside of my leaf and up the center. I'm just going to put a little bit We'll see how that looks. But look how what you get with a little shading on this one. It is gorgeous. If you decide that you want to have a little bit more drama in that leaf and in this tangle, all we have to do is color in that stem and that's going to give us a little bit more drama and again I'm just going to put a little graphite and let it work its magic I love these things they are like the best now if you want to come back on something like this and add Just a few dots in here to give this leaf a little texture. You could do that. This one would be great colored. And um, I have some new, new. Um, these are from Artista. Uh, they're watercolor pencil, but they are woodless, easy to sharpen. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and then I'm going to use my shading stamp that I have dipped in odorless paint leader. I know you're saying, wait, wait, they're watercolor. Well, I don't get as much control with watercolor, but I, you can still get the same effect. Watch what happens. I want a little bit more control of the color. I had a little yellow I think on my shading stump. But it just gives me more control. I wanted a little white in the center. I'm going to try dipping this in water and see what happens. But I like it because it will dry, the odorless paint thinner will dry and I will be able to um, to reuse that. Let's try. Oh, let's. Here, I picked up purple. Let's try the black and see what how it compares to using um, graphite. Now I realize I've got a little um, green on here already. I'm gonna point out. Get my point out. And I'm going to take my um, emery board and clean off that green. 
So I'll take my odorless paint thinner and get a little bit more on there. So that's good. And still had a little bit of that green on there. But I have control over where that goes using this shading stamp. And I like the the darkness of it. it. It really gives it a that's a right nice black color. Now if I let's try blending. And I'm gonna use a a gr the green, which is emerald green and a walnut brown, and see what I get. I like the woodless, so easy to sharpen to a point um, with my hand sharpener. I'm just putting a little brown in here. And I blend those two colors together. I like that. That has an, a nice fall looking leaf. I think I could probably even add a little bit more green to it. So that's kind of a fun way to, to color. We have one more I'm going to try. I have a whole pile of them here. But another color I'm just going to try. The This one is chrome yellow. And I'll put a little bit more into here. Into each one. And you can see I'm not real careful about how how I put it in. And but I'm going to clean off my um, blending stamp again with my and I've kind of collapsed the end so I'm going to take a paper clip and just run it up in the center and that kind of pokes it back up I get the best juice out of my and let's put a little bit of black just up here on the sides and see what happens so we could blend that it that it's going to give it a, um, a little folded look or I kind of like that so I'll just put a little black in the tips and again I'm not re-dipping my shading stump I'm just using what's on there I do need to keeps collapsing on me get that paper clip up in there but that's kind of fun. So the um, color pencils from Artesia and a little odorless paint thinner and a great tangle from Ina Sonamoser. Um, Z-A-Z and away you go. How fun. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There's new lessons every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tangle every day.